Today, we'll be creating a blonde tortoise shell design using gel polish. Let's get started. We'll be using five colors to create the look today. We're gonna want to do a buttery, milky yellow. This one is actually really important. It's probably one of the most important ones in the look. It adds some warmth and some depth. A milky white, a sheer brown, sheer black, and a solid black. These are the colors I use. So this is Rica Gel 186M, Vetro 261, Cocoist Black Martini, Cocoist Maxi Black, and Presto number three. This is the Mana Nails Nail Partner Liner Brush. I use this all the time. Pre-Gel OB5, this is a really nice oval all-purpose brush. And then the Young Nails Master Gel Brush. I use this for overlays and for art. So the yellow is a little bit unexpected, but it's actually the backbone for this design. We're just gonna lay down a really nice sheer coat. It's okay that there's some spots blank. It does not have to be perfect. This is one of those looks that's just super layered and you just have to trust the process. Next, we're gonna be adding some sheer brown blobs. You wanna do this with a gentle hand and gently feather the edge with the edge of your brush. Once this looks how you'd like it to look, you can go ahead and cure it. Once your brown is cured, you're gonna go in and add some offset sheer black blobs. And once you're happy with how those look, go ahead and cure it. Don't overthink it, it does not have to be perfect. Once your sheer brown and black are cured, you're gonna go over it with Presto number three. Um, and you're gonna do a really nice sheer layer of this color. We still want some of the brown and the black to pop through. And once the opacity is where you want it, you can go ahead and cure this layer. The Young Nails Master Gel Brush is one of my favorite brushes in my studio. I use it for um, gel overlays, but I also use it for art. It's kind of the perfect size. This little tapered end makes really great random blobs and splotches. Um, and it's also really great for doing things like heart French tips and that kind of thing. So we're gonna go in with the Young Nails Master Gel brush and just get into our maxi black and just add a few random medium sized dots. And we wanna make sure that they're pretty well spaced in between because we're gonna leave this layer wet. So with a clean brush, you're gonna go into your sheer brown. And we're gonna use this and place it on the wet black dots just around the edge. So see how I'm just gently placing this around the edge of the black. I'm not going too far over the black, but I am dragging the black 
slightly into the brown so that I get that nice kind of like marbleized effect. We want it to kind of be a nice gradient. So we want it to be really dark in the center and then fade out to this beautiful brown. And you wanna go ahead and wipe your brush in between layers, especially if you dip into your black at all. Once you're happy with the look, go ahead and cure. I had a slight snafu in the filming process, um, so I didn't get a chance to film myself doing the random black dots, but you're just gonna add some random black dots in different sizes on the pattern, cure it, and then go in with this final layer of the Presto number three. And you can adjust the opacity after you place it by just wiping your brush off and taking some product away in certain spots, adding a little bit more in other spots. Um, really don't overthink it. We want it to kind of be milky and not completely consistent. When you're happy with the look, go ahead and cure it. And then go in and just reinforce a few of the dots just to give them a little bit more punch and to create that multi-dimensional layered look. And as always, check your angles. You wanna make sure that everything is nice and balanced, even if it is a design that's a little bit more random. Whenever you have a layer design, there's bound to be um, some difference in texture. So I love the Presto No Wipe top coat because it's nice and viscous and really kind of self levels beautifully and creates a nice even design. And that completes our blonde tortoise shell design. Thank you guys so very much for hanging with me. I had so much fun and I cannot wait to see what you guys create and how you put your own spin on it. So don't forget to tag me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.